Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are making this gorgeous little basic cup cosy. And when I say basic, it's very basic. Now this one here is a coffee urn kind of thing, so it's quite solid inside. Um, but there you go. And I use it for coffee. It I got this one from Unwind Craft Cafe when I went on a cruise with them in January. It was in the gift bag along with some gorgeous yarn and lots of other items. <laughs> um, but there you go. I wanted to purchase one of these and I didn't need to because I got it as a gift. So I'm very excited. <laughs> Sorry, I just got sidetracked today. My apologies. <laughs> so there you go. Just get a nice close up of that texture. It's just gorgeous basic single crochets okay all we needed to do was chains and then add the single crochets and then head off on our own and do our rows I'll tell you exactly how many rows we need to do I did find that mine was a little bit loose on one side and tight on the other because after a while yours truly does get really tight when I crochet <laughs> so try to keep your tension um, as even as possible now the cotton I used was an old cotton I had in stash and as you can see I've got plenty left it's a bit messy sorry about that guys made a mess of it now I couldn't find the original label so I picked up an, uh, a new one that I have they're very much the same in um, specs only just not the right color so don't look at that it's not peppermint it's actually a sky blue I think so this is an eight ply cotton and you've got a four millimeter needle and we did actually use a four millimeter hook um, we don't need any more of those specs because we only needed a little bit so there you go four millimeter hook we needed our scissors and yes we did need that darning needle sewing weaving needle we only needed to weave in two ends so it didn't affect us at all but look at that it's so gorgeous now I did state in the middle of the tutorial somewhere or just before you chained on your 10 chains if you wanted yours to be a lot bigger like to come down here somewhere chain up 15 okay but yours truly just wanted a nice small one and there you go so I'm very happy with that um, what else can I tell you about it nothing really it's quite a basic stitch and you've got all the specs so without further ado let's get on with the tutorial alrighty you'll need to know how to do chains single crochet and a quick slip knot if you don't know how to do these stitches I will pop links to those stitches in the description box down below have a practice and then come back to us or I actually do make this a lot easier um, and I work slowly for all the newbies anyway so the first thing we're going to do is a quick slip knot grab your tail end and your finger wrap your tail end around your finger twice hold your working end at the back grab your back loop and pass it over hold it there grab the other loop all the way over get your hook and pop it in give it a tug all right. okay we're going to start off by chaining up 10 so that's yarn over your hook pull a loop through once yarn over your hook pull it through twice three times four five six seven eight nine ten all right so we have ten chains we are going to be having ten stitches initially so what we need we're going to be working in that stitch there so what we need to do is chain up one more right there and you work in that stitch right there you're popping two loops over your hook one loop is un underneath pull a thread through like that you've got two loops on your hook yarn over your hook pull through those two loops that is a single crochet you're going to do the same now the stitches you're going through is that little space right there and when you do that you're popping two loops over your hook it doesn't always work that way but for this tutorial we're using the two loops okay so pull your loop through yarn over your hook pull through two loops pop your hook in your next stitch right there pull the loop through yarn over your hook pull through two loops on your hook 
okay so continue to do that that was your um one two three third one <laughs> um continue to do that all the way across this is number four i've just split the yarn there <laughs> five six seven eight is in there somewhere it's a little bit squeezy squashy I should say <laughs> but 10 is in there somewhere right so pull your loop through yarn over your hook and pull the loop through all right now I'm going to chain one you don't need to take your hook out I'm just going to show you something so you can see where your your stitches are and what you and how you need to count it's a little bit tiny because we're using a smaller size hook today so these are your stitches see the V's you see that is a stitch. So when I say um, pop a single crochet in your stitch, that's where you're putting it, okay? So stop there. Now, you've chained one, turn your work. Usually I like to turn my work like I'm turning the page in a book. All right. Now, there's your first stitch, so don't miss it, or you'll be one stitch short right there. See that first V right there? We're gonna pop our hook in, pull up a loop, and yarn over your hook pull through two loops that is a single crochet like it was before in the previous round we're going to do a second one next to it one next to it number three a little bit fiddly the first two rows four five six Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, ten is a little bit tricky. See that right there? That is your ten. Okay, chain one. All right. Now, we turn our work like we turn the page in a book. It's a little bit easier now the next few rows will be a lot easier you might find that this does turn when we go further into the pattern it starts to straighten itself out a bit pop your hook in that very first stitch right there and single crochet making sure when you're doing this that you always end up with 10 chains at the end not because we're being fussy and we want to count but because if you don't and you're one stitch short, your um, cosy will end up crooked and it won't look very nice. Okay, so you want it to look good as well as be comfortable to hold. Okay, so now finish off that stitch. That was your last one. And I hope I'm not going too fast for everybody. But that was row number three. All right. So you're turning your work. I'm lying. <laughs> you're chaining one. Turning your work. It's already starting to straighten up a little bit more. Okay. Now we're going to go across again. This is row four. Now I use the smaller hook because I wanted my stitches to be... Um, close to each other I didn't want to have gaps in there I mean you can probably see tiny little gaps but they're not as noticeable as if we used a larger size hook the larger the hook the bigger the gaps okay I find that single crochet looks really good in wool it looks amazing in wool you don't see any gaps at all cotton you tend to see a few gaps that is row four looking gorgeous oops chain one turn your work and do row five okay super easy this pattern and i'm going to just do this one 
easy and then over the next few weeks I'll be adding some more technical ones so that they look gorgeous as well and you can have some pretty ones on as well as having basic plain ones okay I like a plain one you know it's a bit more comfortable for me to hold it's not as loud but yeah anyway that's your fifth row chain one turn your work okay now before you continue you don't need to take your hook out I just wanted to show you something okay when it comes to measurements all right so this one here measures about let me get a close up for you all right measures about one centimeter or two and a half inches so roughly one centimeters I'm sorry let's try it the other way around measures <laughs> Get a right mirror. Measures two and a half centimetres or roughly one inch. Hello. Wake up, woman. Okay. Now, <laughs> grab your thermos, your thermos, your glass, whatever you are making. Pop your measuring tape around. Would have been better the other way. I'm silly. I went the wrong way. But anyway. And it's roughly, do it right in the middle. It's roughly 24 centimetres or nine and a half inches. Now, you're not going to be making your piece exactly 24 centimeters, which is there, or nine and a half inches, no. Because this will go a little bit stretchy, okay? It does stretch. So what we're going to do, we've got five rows done there. Go ahead and do another 38 rows on top of what we've just done and meet me back here and I'll tell you what we're going to do next. Alrighty guys, oops, sorry, too close. There we go, there's my 38 rows, okay? Now, um, it's entirely up to you. If you found yours was too big or too small, you can change it to suit. Now mine kind of is a little tight, but I want it that way. I prefer mine to be tight, so when I slide it on, it doesn't get all loose and fall on me. Now, if yours is too big, like if yours kind of overlaps, I'll pull it real tight so I can try it, kind of overlaps like that, you may need to take it undone, okay? But if it's um, nice and tug and it sort of just measures there, that's fine. So it doesn't matter where you started. If you need to add more rows, go ahead and do that now before you continue this part here that we're going to do. If you need to take a few rows undone, take a few rows undone, okay? So here we are. You're going to pop your two pieces together. It doesn't matter which way. Actually, this is the only way to do it because <laughs> you can't crochet backwards. Well, you could if you were doing a backward stitch, which is called the crab stitch. And I've done a tutorial on the crab stitch. By the way, I will leave a link for that tutorial in a description box down below. I've done two, one for a beanie and just one on its own. Um, I'll leave the one for the beanie in there <laughs> just for fun. And I got sidetracked, didn't I? Sorry, guys. All right, so what you're going to do, you've change a one there pop your hook in your very first stitch now with the opposite side to get your first stitch you need to really fuss with it okay so that's where you will end up with that little loop all right you don't want just that okay you really want a whole stitch so you have to dig into your stitch and it might mean taking the whole stitch on if you can't get through loops which I can't so I'm going to take the whole stitch my hook has gone through the whole stitch so I'm going to grab my thread pull it through all those thicknesses there so now I've got two loops on the hook we're going to do a normal single crochet just like that okay we're going to do the same with the next stitch next stitch is right next to it and right opposite this is where it gets a little fiddly right there I'm sorry, right there. That's your second stitch there. So just be careful. You want your work to even up at the end. Mine will, it's just that my these stitches are quite tight. If it doesn't work, you could fudge it. It does come out really poorly if you fudge it. So try to um, get in the right stitch, all right? So there's your stitch you're supposed to go into. Just, if you want, spread it apart like that. I can actually see that's been crocheted into already so it must mean this one right here all right I hope that makes sense there pop it in your first stitch as you can tell these stitches are really tight and that's really loose that's no good to be really loose but there you go 
That's what happens. <laughs> don't do yours tight and don't do it loose. All right, try to get in there and do even. Oops, I skipped a hole right there. See that space there? I skipped that. I was just about to go into the next one. Second last one. I'm sorry, try third last one. I do apologize. There's your second last and your second last there. Be careful of these two stitches because believe it or not, there's two there like that. And here's your last one. Very tight stitch in here, which means that one opposite it will be also very tight stitch in there. But it is there. Do your single crochet. Chain one, pull up a loop, give it a cut. I'm going to weave in those ends in a minute. But what we're going to do is make sure this fits. So grab your little guy, turn your guy inside out because that's the side we want. We'll weave in those ends in a minute. We just want to make sure this fit, fit, fits. If it doesn't fit, we need to redo it. But it does. And there you go. Ta-da! And I like to keep mine all the way up the top. There you go. Like that. Ta-da! All done. Easy, easy. It's a little tiny line there where you sewed in your ends. I mean, where you sewed in your ends. Where you crocheted your single crochets. And there you go. Beautiful. So what we're going to do now, just quickly, we're going to weave in these ends. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed making our little cup cosy thingy. I don't even know what they call them, cup cosy. I think that's what I'll call it. Um, and don't forget to join us on uh, Thursday or Friday for our coasters. We're going to be making some crochet coasters. All right, so because this is inside, we've turned it, that was the right side. So the bubbled side is the wrong side, obviously. We want the big bubbled edge, and that's the right side. Go back into the bubbled edged area and just find a space and the best part about this is there's no right or wrong way of doing this no one's ever going to see it. it's going to be inside so you can just weave in and out of any stitch you like see i've just weaved it in and out of stitches no one's ever going to see that that's on the inside all right there you go super easy i know i love doing uh simple easy projects occasionally just to keep our brains you know get them going back into normal after doing all that big blankets that we've been doing and by the way if you haven't if you're joining us new and you haven't caught up with us we have been doing lots and lots of blankets um and we are now going to do some basic items this week and next week but we are also starting a new blanket this week as well pretty coolio now you may find this one or the one we just did i hope it wasn't that one for you <laughs> <laughs> it's a kind of a little bit out of whack there because that's our very first one we did you're just going to pop your needle in there oh, sorry I'll show you what I mean I think it's the last one sorry not the first one that's the loop we just pulled undone all right if you've got that little thing there you just pop your stitch your needle in that stitch anywhere you like pop it through pull the loop through oh, that's a little bit of a knot hasn't come through there that's it and what it's done is it's closed it up for us so it doesn't look like there's a gap there and you do exactly the same thing with this one you just weave in and out of any space up the top not down the bottom if you're really worried about it going through just turn your work inside if you can see the needle there then it's gone through so you would have noticed guys that we've been doing blankets all sorts of large projects so for the next two weeks we're going to do some small projects and we are also starting one blanket this week as well so you know we we kind of keep as busy as we can and there you go so in and out twice three times whatever you want to do it doesn't matter cut that end turn it in the right way ta-da no ends grab your little coffee thingy <laughs> i don't even know what it's called cup cozy and there you go Oh, sorry, too close. There you go. Ta-da! Gorgeous! You can pop it down lower if you like. I like mine a bit further up the top because that's where I hold my cup 
when I'm drinking and there you go so if you have a cup like this that's going to be hot if you find this is too loose before you weaved it in not now <laughs> you should have tightened it up a little all right but I think that's fine we love 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 it's gorgeous um, don't forget guys to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you guys do for me and also stick around for the next couple of weeks because we've got a couple of more small projects coming plus our blanket plus we're getting ready to make our two tops they are coming up they are um, one is a shrug and one is a v-stitch uh, kind of a vest top thing all right so thank you so much for watching guys and all i can say right now is ciao for now